Hello and welcome to the ONX DSL copper testing video provided by TMG Test Equipment in conjunction with VRV Solutions. I'm Ravi, TMG Test Equipment Specialist, and I'll be running through some of the basic functions of the copper testing on the ONX 580. Now let's look at some of the options available under copper. There's POTS, Multimeter, which is a digital version of your line to set number 2, covering voltage, resistance and current. Opens, which is essentially a capacitance meter, balance, load coil, TDR, and one check. The pot styler, or Batinsky for the ONX, can be used to verify your pot service. Looking for voltage, current, ring voltage, dial tone, pair identification, and caller ID. One handy hint is by pressing the options button, you can switch between RJ11 on the side of the unit and the A and B leads. Let's now have a look at the multimeter function of the ONX 580. Now here we can see that it's in snapshot mode, which automatically provides us with the AC and DC voltage across each of the A, B and earth pairs. By selecting continuous on the bottom hand left corner, we can now have a look at the real time access to each pair, so A to B, a to E and B to E. Now I can either do that by touching the screen or by pressing the up and down arrow keys. By pressing AC or DC volts in the bottom right hand side of the corner I can cycle through the tests. And if I want to increase my accuracy I might change my termination to 1 mega ohm. Let's now look at resistance. Here we can see a snapshot being taken of the line showing that A to B shows 7 ohms, A to E shows infinite resistance or over 999 mega ohm and B to E shows the same. What that means is that there's a short on A to B. Now just to show you the menu subsets we can go through continuous and show the same thing. As you can see as I go through continuous it keeps the last result that I've actually gone through and updates as I cycle. Now by pressing the options key I can go to distance to short. Here we can see that the short is indicated at 37.2 meters when the ambient temperature is 21 degrees and my cable gauge of 0.51, which is correct for the jumper cable I'm testing. Now if I was to select the incorrect cable gauge of 0.32, you can see there'd be a vast difference in the measurement created. So always remember that cable gauge is a very important factor with distance to short. Now let's look at capacitance. Here we can see that it's showing an open at 28 meters between A and B. I can now change this to continuous and cycle through A to B, A to E and B to E looking at my capacitance values. Making sure that A to E and B to E are the same value means that the line is balanced. Now let's look at the current section which covers AC and DC by pressing the bottom right hand corner button and we can also cycle through continuous and snapshot much like the other options. Our next option is longitudinal balance and last but not least is loading coils. That concludes the section on the multimeter. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel as we update our video series on the ONX DSL as well as training on other equipment that TMG provide.